I, this is little, little, little Dwarf, playing games while rambling incoherently into the microphone. Why? Well, just because I can, and I continue with Deus Ex Human Revolution blind. Now, I'm here uh, near the meeting where um, Q Darrow's operative was supposed to retrieve some sensitive information about Panchea, and I'm supposed to deal with all of the supposed terrorists, so I'm going to do just that. Ma'am, have you seen a heavily augmented white male tonight? Most likely wearing a long coat and dark glasses. No, what is this all about? This man is extremely dangerous. If you do see him, don't approach him. Just warn the nearest bell tower officer you can find. We'll handle it from there. I'll be sure to do that. What is it he's supposed to have done? That is none of your concern. Move along. Hmm. Okay, that's kind of ridiculous. She clearly saw me. And maybe she just doesn't care. And doesn't trust Bell Tower either. It's not like they are well, well liked or anything. Shit. You shouldn't be here. Go. Get moving. Hmm. A lot of enemies. That is far enough. Get I think back. I need to take them all down actually because. Otherwise, should be here. Get moving. Navigating this area. Where did he go? Uh, that is far enough. Get back. That is far enough. Get back. Uh. It's going to be pretty difficult. Jensen would attack a civilian alongside an enemy in a double takedown, but I guess he doesn't Have you seen a heavily particularly care, so... Most likely. I guess this is the way to do it. They didn't kill anyone with that grenade. I think that one only leaves two nearby. Hopefully that's all of them. It's interesting that the guys downstairs, the actual quote-unquote terrorists, don't seem to care that much. I hope nobody died. Although if somebody got, got shot, then it was by them. And probably just in the crossfire. I doubt they would have targeted the civilians by themselves. Hmm. 
Okay, so I guess those are the guys I'm supposed to eliminate. Now I could jump in and use the Icarus system, but I want to see if maybe they maybe I can initiate conversation with them and they will explain themselves. I guess they don't attack me because they are still expecting the other guy from Darrow that they agreed to a meeting with. I don't think I can. Not with the gun, Lao Lai. You're in the wrong part of town, Lao Lai. Go back. This is not the place for you. Get out, Lao Lai. Huh. Well, get me, Lai. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't uh, talk with any of them. I guess violence it is. And if so, it's probably wise, well, wiser to start at a longer distance with the rifle. Really, I'm just supposed to loot this one. I wonder if I can inspect the uh, data chip to see what's on it. As I would very much be interested in seeing uh, what Hyudaro considers to be, um, you know, comp uh, uh, what's the word, to be incrimin incriminating information. Press the item. Classified information. Okay, so I can't. Now, I do want to check the sewers, because I'm still looking for... Um, Żelazny, but I think he's in the other district. Hmm. Although, those are very clearly... Illuminati soldiers and, or maybe not, maybe, maybe actually they are not Illuminati, maybe they reused the model, but that would be strange. Like, I fought them at Picus and I fought them at various places and I believed them to be the Illuminati forces, but I'm not sure about that anymore. Well, I guess there is someone over there, it seems... Like a like a unique character, and pretty heavily augmented too, fully uh, cybernetic arms, one leg, and maybe that's actually him. Hmm. So apparently I can talk with him. They send you. If you're talking about your former buddies at Bell Tower, the answer is no. Wait a minute. You're Jensen, right? I heard that some of my former buddies have been looking for you. Could be. What's it to you? 
When a stranger sojourns with you in your land, you shall not do him wrong. You've dropped the Merc gig to become a man of the cloth? Hardly. I just have an interest in theology. And I love quoting the book. Everything in it is so evocative. Now, tell me, are you here to stop me? Mm. I, wh why doesn't it give me an option to... Uh, like to say maybe? Because that very much depends on what what's his angle in all this. But I guess I can say no, and then I can always turn on him if I don't find the answers satisfactory. So, let's do that. Not exactly. I'm here on behalf of someone who wants you to understand reason. Let me guess. Dr. Wing, right? He's a good man. And I know he's only trying to do what he thinks is right. But he doesn't quite grasp the whole picture here. Then why don't you enlighten me? Start by explaining why you went rogue. When an average man decides he no longer shares his employer's views and opts to leave, we say he's handing in his resignation. When men like us do the same, it's called going rogue. You can't quit a job like ours, Jensen. You know that. Mm. Yeah, okay, I can relate. But you still haven't answered my question. And what do you mean when you say you no longer share your employer's view? Back in the US, when I first got into the army, I did it because I wanted to serve my country. I believed in its values. I believed in its government. Back then, I believed that by serving my government, I was serving the people it was supposed to protect. Nice sentiment. But you don't work for the US anymore. You work for Bell Tower. Times change, Jensen. You know the story. Capitalism's final encroachment on one of the most lucrative industries in the history of mankind. War got privatized. The US military offloaded its special operations to PMCs like Blue Water Global and Bell Tower. I believe that as long as they were working for the government, they were serving the same cause. So when they offered me the chance to work on major operations at twice the pay grade, I made my jump. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I am, am interested in hearing his angle, and that's like the major thing that will let me decide uh, what to do here, so go along. Why don't we just skip to when things went south? Bell Tower outfitted us with top-notch augmentations. The kind of stuff civilians never hear about. Gave us a massive edge over the enemy. Later. Seeing as my unit was one of the most successful ones, they selected us for a special program. Top secret. Experimental tech. Told us we would get to work on critical black ops for the US government. But there was a price to pay. Go on. We had to be implanted with a neural hub that manipulates memory centers in the brain. Basically controlling what you can and cannot remember. And you agreed to this? Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. The augmentation was supposed to keep us safe, make sure we'd never remember details if we fell behind enemy lines. That was the main function. The second one, the one they didn't tell us about, was to lower our inhibitions. Make us more receptive to orders we'd likely disobey. Bell Tower turned us into the perfect mercs. If you were so perfect, and the hub made you so perfect, how did it fail? How come they didn't help with the whole agency? I told you the tech was experimental. After a couple of ops, I started experiencing memory shifts, remembering bits and fragments of past operations. Slowly, I realized some of these operations couldn't logically have been orchestrated by the government, and was asked to do highly questionable things, even by professional standards. Aren't we all? Not like this, Jensen. Our services have been sold to corrupt officials in the American and Chinese governments. A combination of lies and use of the neural AUG made sure we complied. We were working for a shadow government. Individuals corrupted by a quest for personal power. So how'd you get out of it? I confronted the project director. He quoted Apocalypse Now. You have to have men who are moral. And at the same time who are able to utilize their primordial instincts to kill without feeling. I forced him to disconnect the hub, 
for me and my squad mates here. And then I killed him. I went through his files and contacts. I know who these corrupt men are now. They've turned us into killing machines, and now they'll get to experience their experiment firsthand. Hmm. Now, I definitely don't approve of extrajudicial uh, killing or lynching or whatever, uh, or vigilantism in principle, but like th th this is th this whole universe is a nightmare because you can't count on uh, the legal means when you're you're fighting corrupt government officials in the first place so you can't go to the police because they control the police so what are you supposed to even do like they control the uh, international organizations the illuminati run the un uh, like th that's a crazy scenario and i can't really wrap my head around it but i think like at the very least like i, I understand where he's coming from but I'm trying to weigh in my head, um, like, if I let him go, then they're going to kill a bunch of people. And let's assume he's telling the truth, because after all, I can't exactly know that. But let's assume that that's a, you know, video game logic. I already mentioned that it doesn't have time uh, to let you dig in into every statement and to agonize over it for hours to figure out if every minor NPC is telling the truth. So let's assume that's right, he's going to kill some people. Now maybe they kind of deserve it, that's deb debatable, uh, but I would still prefer them not getting killed, but then what kind of justice can you expect for people that are in a government position already and at the high spot? Like, they pretty much control the police, the courts, whatever. So they probably would, if you reported them or something, they would get a slap on the wrist or like an exclusive vacation to some remote island. And that's all. Uh, so I, I, I get, get what he's doing. But I also wonder if I knock him out, because I'm not, not going to kill him. I'm going to incapacitate him. Then... What difference does it really make? Like, uh, th there is no one here. I doubt the doctor uh, is going to arrange the arrest of them. Mm. And ev even if he was, the police uh, force in this town is Bell Tower, so they are probably going to kill them. Uh, you know, because they are looking for them specifically because they went, went rogue in the first place, so there can't be any hope of leniency for them. Uh, and if nobody arrests them and I just knock them out, then they are just going to get back up after a while. And because, like, uh, this tranquilizer or the stun uh, obviously isn't going to work forever. It's a non-lethal solution for a reason, it's only temporary, so they will just have a nap like for three hours or whatever, and then stand back up and do whatever they were doing in the first place. So, like, in a perfect world, I would like to believe that this is actually a good option, you know, mm, turn yourself in, but if he does that, the freaking actual police in this place are his mortal enemies that are currently trying to kill him. So what would that accomplish? They would just kill him anyway. Or you know, uh, get him in prison and then he would have a mysterious quote-unquote accident uh, and choke on some soup or something. That would probably be um, the way it would go down. So like, I don't exactly approve of what he was doing, but I, th I think this situation is unresolvable, really. Like, um, okay, one of the... I could kill him myself, uh, thereby protecting the actual corrupt officials, but that is even more backwards, even disregarding the fact that I'm not killing anyone, so I definitely don't want to do that. I could knock him out, in which case he either will just lay on the floor for three hours, back, uh, get back up and do what he was doing anyway, or he's going to get arrested 
uh, and that means he's going to be captured by Bell Tower, who are already searching for him to kill him, so that's the same as killing him, or I could let him go and hunt down those, those cor corrupt government officials. Mm. So either way, somebody dies, I guess, and it's a matter of deciding who do I think deserves to die more. Now, I definitely don't think he's blameless in all this, because after all, he did agree, first of all, to work for a mercenary group, so he he had to, at least um, on, an, on a like semi-conscious level, know that one day he might be asked to do something immoral, because basically that's why mercenary groups exist in the first place, and that's why government governments use mercenary groups is to do things that wouldn't fly with your ordinary soldiers well partially at least i guess it's mostly because they don't want they don't have to report casualties uh, like to the to their national press so it's better for morale if some random uh, mercenaries die than if your actual soldiers die but uh, he volunteered for bell tower and second of all he volunteered for this whole um, augmentation so that was kind of stupid because they told him, they literally told him directly that he's going to interfere with his hem with, with, with his memory. So you'd think a smart person would probably reconsider that. But then again, it's kind of a case of victim blaming because even if he's kind of gull gullible, uh, they still uh, used the argumentation against him. So in the end, it's his employee empl employer's uh, fault more than him, I believe. Um, so, if anyone has to die here, I would rather it be those corrupt officials than those mercenaries that they duped. It's not an ideal option, but I think I've explained, uh, you know, uh, elaborately enough why I think knocking them out would pretty much accomplish nothing. Uh, so... Uh, I think I'm going to trust this, actually. Dr. Wing said our situations would resonate. I don't think he realized it might go both ways. Some men deserve the justice we bring on them. Do what you have to do, Zelazny. I won't get in your way. I appreciate that, Jensen. I didn't want you to die for a cause that isn't yours. These men I killed, and these men I'm going to kill. They have names, families. Their people. Their deaths shouldn't be erased from my memory by some electronic software. They should haunt me, taunt me, until I finally meet our Lord and pay for my sins. But the men behind this, they deserve to die. And I think there's poetry in the fact that they engineered their own demise. Yeah, I'm not sure about that, but... It is what it is. Hey, Jensen. Zelazny here. Zelazny? How'd you get this frequency? You're no stranger to top secret augmentations, Jensen. You figure it out. In the meantime, just want to let you know I've contacted some of my old pals at Bell Tower. Got him to reassign a couple of local patrols. You should have a few less problems to deal with for a while. Thanks. Don't mention it. Okay, somebody's running. You must have felt it too, right? Everyone I, who was I can't augmented speak to you right now. has been getting Something strange is symptoms. Okay, so I guess I solved both of those side quests already. So I'll return to the quest givers, but first, I do have two praxis points. Mm. I guess I'll get this. It's borderline useful. At this point, I don't have that much to upgrade anyway. Uh, this is all pointless. This is potentially useful some of some of this. 
And you know what? I might actually get the rebreather to be immune to EMP, immune to gas, immune to flashbangs, basically. Ah, but that's two points. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay, so I think I'll save it and get the rebreather. And with that bot, I will pretty much have all that I want to, so I can buy the additional inventory space without guilt of uh, using something so mundane. Metro station here, right? <laughs> How cool would it be in real life if the metro, the tram, uh, and the buses would always ar arrive and the second you enter the station? It's awfully convenient. Okay, I think both of those... Mm. Wait, actually... Frick. The, 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 the doctor is... in the clinic, right? So I just passed him. Yeah, there was... I wonder how he will react. I wonder, first of all, if Jensen would even tell him that he let uh, Jelazny go, and if so, how will he react? Like, it would be a, an interesting twist if he himself was, um, you know, one of his intended targets, and he would freak out because he would know he would know that I basically condemned him to die. I guess that's another interesting point. Does Żelazny consider the people that uh, in that actually physically installed the augmentations to be uh, as guilty as the people who ordered it? Because to me, it doesn't. It didn't look like they would have had much choice. So, you have found Żelazny. I cannot stress enough the importance of this task, Mr. Jensen. Mm. I found him. Really, Mr. Jensen? You have been able to make him understand reason? Will he turn himself in? Yeah, I think I'm going to tell him. Worst case, I mean, at the very least, if he is um, in danger, then I guess it's fair for him to know. It's a long story, Doc. I tracked Zelazny and his men. They were hiding in the sewers. And after talking to him, I decided to let him go. What? But he is a dangerous man, Mr. Jensen. You should not have done this. Mm. Yay. <laughs> Not sure which one of those should I because I guess I kind of agree with his overall goal of punishing those people. I'm just not sure if he should straight, straight out kill them. Mm. Okay, let's trust this. The men Zelazny's after are far more dangerous than he is. His methods are extreme, but I think his cause is justified. I... I had not foreseen such a thing. I believe you are wrong, Mr. Jensen. You should have stopped them. Here is a Praxis Kit. It's all I have. Hmm. 
Why did he reward me? Again, it's actually the second such a situation in game and that I've done something that the quest giver was not happy with and then he rewarded me nonetheless. That's a little bit nonsensical. Like, I'm not a child. I could survive the thought that because I've be I have, because I have behaved in a way that the uh, quest giver didn't like, he simply isn't going to reward me at all. It would make a lot more sense to me, and I kind of feel like I almost feel like this design infantilizes me because it assumes that if I don't get a reward for a quest, regardless of what way I choose to finish it in, um, then I'm going to, I don't know, get annoyed or or uh, blame the developers or whatever. If anything, it's actually the other way around. Like, it kind of breaks my immersion that the quest givers don't approve and yet they reward me all the same. And with pretty, uh, pretty uh, costly items, by the way. You know, a Praxis, praxis Kit is a high level advanced technology, so I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. As I said, I'm, I think I'm going to get the freaking rebreather and maybe buy those two and that will pretty much cover everything I want to get so I could buy the remaining inventory space. You must get that chip back, Mr. Jensen. Hmm. Okay, I guess I can ask about more, more things. You've been working for Darrow a long time. How do you like it? Working for a powerful man ensures I am trusted with crucial tasks and involved in world-shaping events. It's quite exhilarating. You of all people should understand this. Any idea who these sellers are? Nothing substantial. We have a hunch they might be linked to Taiyong Medical, but the data chip will allow us to know for sure. How's that? All of our data chips are encoded with unique IDs and binary signature recognition. This means we'll be able to know exactly where it came from and where it went. What kind of information are we talking about here? What could people be so eager to sell? I am not at liberty to say. Okay. Well, I, I do have it. I got the chip. The sellers are out cold. Excellent work. Seems Mr. Darrow was right to trust you. We will send people to take care of the terrorists. Could I see the chip? How about you tell me what's on it first? Blackmail, Mr. Jensen? Don't waste your time. I won't tell you anything. Besides, there are stones better left unturned. Might as well just give me the chip and leave it at that. Hmm. Okay, I'll try uh, convincing her. I think she's mostly beta. So let's try this. Look, you're a powerful young woman. You're in a position that warrants your access to classified information. I understand that not everybody should get their hands on this, but I'm like you. I work for a powerful man, and I get entrusted with secret information on a daily basis. Plus, I'm the one who busted his ass getting this chip for you. I guess your point is not entirely without merit. But understand, this information is extremely confidential. It concerns Panchea, and more specifically, the Hiram Project. Hiram Project? Never heard of it. I'm not surprised. It is a well-guarded secret. But without it, Panchea could not exist. Such an ambitious project. An installation extending all the way to the ocean floor. The pressure exerted against it is constantly shifting. Yet the slightest defect in structural integrity could bring it all down. That's why we needed something powerful and extremely efficient to monitor it day and night. 
You're saying the Hyron project is some kind of advanced computer? Yes, I suppose you could say that. Thank you for your honesty. The information is safe with me, don't worry. Here's your data chip. Ah, perfect. You don't know what this means, Mr. Jensen. Your help has been invaluable. Thank you. Even though this was a favor for Mr. Darrow, he believes you should be duly rewarded. Here is a payment in credits. I'm sure Mr. Darrow will wish to congratulate you himself. Expect to hear from him soon. Okay. Now, I think It seems I'm... David has a flair for choosing his people, Mr. Jensen. You have done me a great service today. Glad I could help. Couldn't let information about something as sensitive as the Hyron project get in the hands of the wrong people. No. No, we couldn't. So, Meng Yao told you about the project, I see. A little. I'm afraid words can't do it justice. To fully comprehend the ramifications of what's been created in Panchea, you'd have to see it for yourself. And who knows? Perhaps one day you will. Hmm. I'm not sure why Jensen told Darrow that he knows about the Hiram project. You, you'd think he would be wise enough to recognize that... Um, that... Uh, having the knowledge but narrow but Darrow not knowing about it would give Jensen uh, the upper hand in any future dealings um, having to do with Darrow so I don't think that was wise but I couldn't really influence that so I guess that's just the way Jensen rolls he's uh, generally honest Everything. So I will have to go in in melee. I 
probably should have bought some, uh, bought some food at the limb clinic because I'm seriously outmatched here. I don't have any more ammunition for any of my weapons. from here originally isn't looking too good for me to be honest. I need to somehow get past them and I I have like one en energy bar and that's pretty much it. Okay apparently I can break through this. Or just a hidden room, I guess. Ah, okay, it is a hidden passage. Of sorts. You just have to create the actual passage yourself. Hmm. But there are computers here. Maybe some food that would replenish my... Okay, uh, an explosive thing could be useful if I encounter another one of those bots. Let's check the safe. it anyway I didn't because I didn't pay attention to that uh, you know what just use this I don't have the patience so hopefully um, hopefully there's something useful inside N not really at least For me, That was a bit of a waste, because I don't think I have any we weapon that this would work with. Yeah. Hopefully at the very least it's pricey. Hmm. I guess the, the darts themselves were kind of worth it. Okay, let's 
let's check the computers. This is talking about the harvesters and their mm, business of ripping augmented people apart for parts. Yeah, they are talking about various parts, you know, an arm here, a leg here. And this is one of those Nigerian scammer emails. Mm, an advertisement. guy they were taken apart so it isn't anything super interesting but oh okay I definitely want those the actual way forward was on the lower level there was like a door that was hackable I think over here down but I'll check the upper floor as well just in case mm, street level I guess it could be used later on for escaping I think I'm screwed actually. Access definitely annoying. <laughs> Pay station. Is that an ATM or a game console? <laughs> Perhaps both. Actually kind of be interesting. <laughs> it, it might be a dis decent idea actually. You know, some kind of game uh, that, that costs money, but also lets you win money. And you play it using an ATM terminal. Yes. 
This is not the most comfortable position. And apparently the door is locked from this side, so hopefully they don't see me. I'm not particularly interested in um, fighting them yet. This isn't even my actual objective, I think. Well, I'll just go inside, although I'm still weirded out by the fact that apparently they didn't notice me, but oh well. You don't look a gifted horse in the mouth. And this is the highest point of the... Over here. ...of the garage. Okay, I can't disable the turret, because that's not possible without the proper argumentation. I do want to check the cor corridor with the electricity, but first I probably need to take care of the cards because I even ah there's like a weakened wall over here and there has to be something interesting here already in? Yeah. Fortunately I don't think I can get back into there, but at least it confirms that um, what I've seen of the garage is pretty much the extent of it. Like if I go up from here... And this is pretty much the same level with, with the turrets, so you just disregard that and go down. No, you're Emma. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. There might be no passage through here. After all, I don't like this. No, you're Emma. Interesting. Oh, I supposed to go out after all, and then go back down uh, some different route. They are below me here, so... Ah! Okay, I'm not, not, not sure how I missed that the first time I broke through this wall, but oh well. Oh, 
no. Okay, that's definitely not something I wanted Jensen to do, and it would be nice if he informed me that he was planning to do it. Okay, so there has to be a different way, right? Because if I didn't have the... If I didn't have the wall-breaking augmentation, then I couldn't use that. any energy restoring kind of huh? is I should try to save mm. I should try to save the uh, taser but might not be. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead. Hmm. Maybe I'm not. Okay, this guy unconscious, unconscious. I do have. Only three taser shots. I don't have any. Oh, free. Did, I, did I save? I'm not sure. I didn't. Hey, come on.
think there's only one left in the room. Okay, that's actually not true, there's a bajillion of them. It's more than a little problematic for me at this point because I have two pieces of ammo, no way to replenish the energy. I hope, at the very least, they are not going to revive each other. Okay, I'll read the ebook before exiting this room. Mm, by Hugh Darrow again. More about synthetic eyes. Yeah, I think uh, what he's talking about here, yeah, 2008, what he's talking about, you know, a very rudimentary vision perceiving light or darkness is actually currently possible. In, in the actual real world timeline. Apparently, judging from the icons, there are some friendlies as well? Hmm. Maybe those are the captured scientists from Sarif Industries. But you know what? You know what? I'm going to read the... Um, the pocket secretary I picked up from one of them. A new save code. I think I unfortunately hacked that already. This is one of the emails. So I think that's all for this one. It has been long enough, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye!